Looking like Mary Poppins. I should put this on my own. I should put this on like my own. I'm gonna put it on my tablet though, so you can see it better. Just... Here goes your home, other homie. I'm gonna put it on my tablet because the tablet got bigger pool. What's up, homie? Yeah. That's crazy, man. I worked in hospitals. And what they do, a lot of them, they cut the tail off from the pool. Don't even show the pants. They just cut it off real quick. And a lot of times I used to Thursday night. I'm with a lot of women, man. Well, yeah. recently, these days, yeah. yeah. Like, we don't ever know, really. Turn them over. Don't even stand over there. A lot of them, some of them would have a little hole in there. A little hole in there. That was church or the internet. Like some was cut off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, best way is on Twitter. You know what Twitter? That's just the best way to get a hold of it. You got a phone? You call my phone. Here, I'll show you my number. I ain't going to say it out loud. You know, they are beastly people because these people used to live up in the Caucasus Mountains. They used to uh, drink water out of the stores of their grandmother. Their grandmama died and they would leave the body there, wouldn't bury the body. They still do that. Skull of Bones? Oh, shit. You know, so, what am I saying? You ever hear of Skull of Bones Secret Society? George I Bush, no, George sure. Bush, GW. The last president before Obama. He was a member of Skull and Bones. It's of a Yale University. It's a secret society at Yale University. Uh, a lot of ex-presidents, uh, both George Bushes were a member. John, you know John Kerry is? Secretary of State. He was a member of Skull and Bones too. But uh, it's open Skull and Bones, they, they collect skulls. Like they got the skull of Geronimo. You know who Geronimo is? That's crazy. Geronimo was one of the top, one of the Indians, Native American Indians who was fighting against the government. Israel, right? So when, when they finally got his ass and captured him, and after he died, they kept the skull as a trophy. Yeah. But they drank wine out the skulls. Up in the uh, skull and bones. That's crazy, man. That is crazy, man. That, that's part of uh, Esau's uh, heritage and tradition. <laughs> yeah, 12 tribes, Israelites, Columbus, Israelites. I'm trying to find it. Kings of the earth. Well, even the even the Lord was crucified on Golgotha. The, what the skull? The, the skull. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it means. That's how you man. say skull in Hebrew. What Golgotha? Something like that. That secret society? Yeah, because they they drink wine out of the skull. They, they, they made a movie on it. You've seen that movie? Uh. What's that? The Good Shepherd? There's a movie out called The Good Shepherd, directed by Robert De Niro. And it gives you the whole history of the Skull and Bones. And it tells you how the Skull and Bones were the ones who created the CIA. Not, not a good thing? <laughs> well, not really. I wouldn't say so. Depends on who you ask, I guess. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. <laughs> well, that's, 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 Yale? Yeah, Yale University. Yeah, Bush yeah. was in there. And they, well, they say they have Che Guevara skull up in there. They said they have Gerard. might have been in that, too, because he was in jail. Well, yeah. We, everybody out here in America, they worship Che Guevara. They say he was a great liberator. <laughs> He's a communist and an atheist, pretty much. Right, right, right. It's a huge thing talking now, right now, how Brad Pitt is bragging about him. Uh, Brad Pitt is a big loser, man. Uh, who the fuck goes to Brad Pitt for uh, spiritual and political advice? <laughs> seven years in Tibet. Yeah, seven death, but like more like seven years in the theater. Boring ass movie. That was the most boring ass goddamn movie I'd ever seen in my life. Kind of yeah, seven years in Tibet. And the hell is some goddamn Tibet? <laughs> Tibetan monks. Like everybody said, we got it. Like the Beastie Boys always like, we got a free Tibet. Them Tibetan monks, they some evil motherfuckers. 
Don't you know they be raping little boys? That's just like the Chinese version of the Catholic Church. They be uh, raping little boys, raping little girls. They uh, deform people, torture people. You know, all, all manner of wicked, wickedness come out of Tibet. Right. Because Esau is in love with them Tibetans. Is that about to die? Yeah. Here, just go ahead and switch it out now. So that shit don't do nothing funny on us. 